All right, we're here post game with the men's soccer program after a 4-1 uh, defeat uh, at the hands of the Wilmington Quakers tonight. Head coach Reed Ayers joined with a couple of his players, Joey Geither and Danny Ruppel. Coach, we'll start with your uh, opening comments on the game. It was a tough night. Uh, the conditions were brutal. Um, you know, I, I just don't think we ever really got into a rhythm all night. Um, you know, credit to Wilmington. I think they, they worked hard. I think they made it very uh, difficult for us to play. And I just think we just really struggled uh, to kind of put things together tonight. Joey, I realize that um, sometimes the weather is a factor. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes people make too much of it. But it just felt like tonight was as difficult playing conditions as you guys have seen in a long time. Mentally, how do you try to just put that aside and play? I mean, you just got to block it out. I mean, you notice that it's raining, you notice that it's hailing, but you just got to focus on getting the ball down, getting your touch right, and playing with it. I mean, there's nothing you can do. You just got to control the controllables. Danny, uh, as the night went along, you guys had lots of set pieces, whether they were in the middle of the field, corner kicks, whatever it might have been. Uh, I realized that you guys didn't score off a set piece, but were you happy with the looks you had? It felt like you had some good chances. Yeah, we we prepared for Wilmington. We knew what they were going to do, zonally marking. So we just tried to put together a few corner for the corner kicks. We had a game plan and we tried to adjust as they adjusted to our our game plan, and then just putting the ball on frame on our free kicks outside the box. And yeah, coach, I realized that uh, the season's not over and there's still very much a chance you can make the OAC tournament. It just puts a little more pressure on this upcoming week and the results to come. How, how do you try to block out a, a, a tough week with losses to John Carroll and Wilmington, knowing that in some regard you still control what's in front of you? Yeah, I mean, we've we've talked about it uh, a little bit in the locker room is not letting tonight define us. Um, and we also, you know, really from the start of conferences, every time we showed up there were, there were three points at stake, uh, no more, no less. Uh, um, a good win doesn't guarantee you a, a, a great performance the next night. So, you know, it's something that we've been training and, and something that we've been talking about. So I'm hoping the guys, I mean, it has been a disappointing week. I mean, I thought the guys played fabulous on Wednesday and, and uh, you know, we didn't quite get it done, but I was, you know, we got on the bus and we were very, very pleased with the performance. I think tonight, um, I don't think we're pleased with our performance. I don't think uh, uh, we played to our standard, the standard we hold ourselves to. So. What we're hoping is that we can um, regroup and, and come back, put together a plan for Mount Union, and uh, go out and have a have a, a strong performance. Danny, Joey, a question for both you guys because offensively you're such a part of the game plan. It seems like every game, both of you are finding ways to take shots. Sometimes open shots, sometimes in crowded areas. Um, but as as juniors, knowing that this is not your last go round. Do you feel like there there is something additional here at stake that, that you want to try to do for the senior class to, to get over the hump and get back to the OAC tournament? Of course. We spent the past three years with them. So, I mean, they've been a part of our journey for basically the whole way. So, I mean, I don't think we're going to do anything more, but it just it just means a little bit more that we're playing for them because I know it's their last go around and I don't want them to be disappointed at the end. Anything to add? No, that pretty much sums it up. I mean, you got to put yourself in their shoes. I mean, it's coming fast. We're going to be there next year, and I would want the underclassmen to play for us. So you just got to step up for them. Reed, is there anything in particular as, as we wrap things up, anything in particular tonight that you feel you can build on going into next week, or is tonight the kind of game you just try to wash clean? Um, yeah, I, I think tonight was just one of those nights um, – you know, hopefully we don't have the the conditions and such. Um, but uh, you know, I think with with these guys, I mean, you know, I think they learned a valuable lesson of what it what it really takes to win. Um, we have we have some quality soccer players. I think uh, we play an attractive style, and um, just those little pieces, parts that go into to com a complete performance, which leads to a win. So, I think you know, for our, in some ways, I mean, every time we get out on the field, whether it's a training, whether it's a game, we hope to we hope to learn something. We hope to get better. So, um, I think we we have some takeaways, and it's just it'll be up to the to the staff and to the and to the boys to uh, um, apply it to to Mount Union.